we'll be tying up a simple yet highly effective streamer pattern. To start, we'll grab some red thread, secure it to our hook shank, and continue wrapping to the bend of our hook, at which point we'll grab some yellow calf tail, select a small clump, and measure it to be a bit longer than our hook gap. To secure it to the back of the fly, I like to wrap my thread around the fur clump loosely, followed by a second wrap to tighten it up. This will help prevent the fur from spinning around the hook. With this complete, we'll continue to secure the cap tail to the hook shank, at which point we'll snip the excess free and cover up our remaining tag end. Next, we'll grab some chenille, wrap our thread to the back of the fly, stripping off a small section of the chenille, exposing the braided core, and using this to secure it to the back of the fly. Once complete, we'll wrap our thread forward to the head of the fly, and begin wrapping our tan chenille forward in closed touching spirals, continuing to do so until you reach your thread. At which point we'll secure it in place by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. Build up a small hot spot at the head of the fly, helping to secure the chenille in place and whip finish to hold everything in place. Snip your thread free and add some adhesive. Here I'm using a UV resin, however, head cement will work just as well. And this is the maple syrup. It's a classic main pattern that is incredibly simple, yet highly effective. And if you're new to fly tying, I would highly suggest giving it a try. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.